Guys, it is officially October. Fall is here and I couldn't be more excited. As you can see, I'm in the mood with my new little pumpkin sweatshirt that I got at Target. And as you can see, it is getting spooky up in here. It might be pushing 91, 91, 91 degrees outside today in Florida, but it is all fall in my house. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall essentials, kind of like my go-to stuff I pull out to get me in the mood for fall, all my scents, a um, few clothing items, some shoes, a pair of pants, and some yeah, makeup. So if you are interested, then please stick around and join me. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's get things started. Okay, let's get this started. So for today's video, I'm doing a fall essentials inspired video to show you guys some of my go-to fall items that I pull out and basically use every year because it's it's just gets me in the mood it it leads me in the direction of the season change and being that I live in Florida it's still 92 degrees out there yes I'm in a pumpkin sweatshirt but it's okay because it is officially fall in my house and as you can see from my background it's also getting a little spooky up in here. Okay, so let's get started. I have a few things to show you and I'll start by makeup. So when I want to use a, a little bit more than the natural no makeup look type look that I usually go for, I use this company called Number 7. It's actually at Walmart and it's called City Light Tint and Moisturizer in Medium. It has an SPF of 15, which I absolutely love. It's it's great because it's very, very light. It covers pretty well. It is buildable. And I will say even for hot days, it's not that bad. I won't typically sweat this off. Um, however, I always use some sort of mattifying powder, which is this, it's from Collab. It's called Kill the Shine, and this is the color in Honey Almond, and it really does that. It's so mattifying because I do like that mattifying look. I'm not crazy about the dewy look because here in Florida with the humidity, I feel like it just makes me look oily and sweaty and greasy, and that's not a look I want to go for. As far as blush, there are two. One of them is my Burt's Beads Toasted Cinnamon, which I absolutely love. Um, it's buildable, it goes on pretty subtle. However, in the MAC line, I get a color in Sun Power, and it is a really pretty like stone clay color, but wow, guys, look at the color. It is um, very pigmented. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can see, but go really light with this color. It's it's so beautiful. I think it would complement anybody that's my skin tone especially. You'll really love this. My lipstick that I'm actually wearing today is a very nude color. This is by e.l.f. I actually found it in Marshalls. They have it on their website. I can't find it in stores. However, like I said, found it at Marshalls and this is called Touch of Nude and it's a beautiful, really beautiful nude color. I'll swatch it for you so you can kind of see. But I, I like it because it doesn't have those pinky or peachy undertones. I don't think that complements my skin color. However, this one, I've absolutely fell in love with it. It's very silky, it's very smooth, it's very moisturizing and it's kind of my go-to nude. Um, and it's buildable. It actually looks different at nighttime versus the daytime, if that makes any sense. Um, okay, moving forward. For my soaps that I kind of put throughout my house for the fall season is um, by Mrs. Myers. It's in the scent Apple Cider. You guys, this scent, it smells so good and it's all natural. It has olive oil and aloe vera in it. And I found it at my local Target but when the limited edition scents are out, it is so hard to find. So 
run to your Target and see if they have any of this because this smells like that first autumn cold crisp day that you're taking a walk and the leaves are just crunching underneath your feet and you're just getting that brisk autumn air this is in a soap this is what this smells like i have it in my bathroom i have it in the kitchen i have it in the bathrooms upstairs i have it in the guest bathroom downstairs i just absolutely love this love it okay so for a body lotion that i typically just use for my hands as well is the pumpkin spice scent from ulta beauty i got this this year the packaging is okay it's kind of basic but I will tell you, if you are a cinnamon spice pumpkin person, you are going to love this smell. It is so silky, it's so smooth, it's so buttery. And let me tell you, you just, you need to top this off with a donut. I don't know, but man, that is so good. Oh, love it. Okay, I have three scents that are kind of my go-to body splashes that I use typically throughout the day whether I'm home, whether I'm running around with kids, going to football practice, volleyball practice, music lessons, ah, craziness that I use. And they're all from Bath & Body Works. I believe I mentioned them in my fall haul, which I'm almost positive I did. And the first one being Pumpkin Picking. This is last year's packaging, but the key notes are cinnamon spice cider, fresh pumpkin pie, and hay hi, uh, if I can speak, hay rides in the patch. It is very spice cider. It's very cinnamony. So if you don't like that really heavy duty spice cinnamon scent, you're probably not gonna like this, but I love it. It's definitely a fave of mine. Um, I don't go for this all the time. Um, I like to actually, when I make the bed and stuff, I kind of spray it around the room and it, it's, I don't know, it, it smells good. Um, this one is definitely my absolute fave and it's sweater weather. This is actually last year's packaging as well. And the key notes in this one is golden autumn leaves, bright blue skies, and crisp apple slices. You get all of that. And I would say there's, there's something else fruity about this scent as well. Just a very subtle hint of it, but it is, it's good. It's good. It's more of the crispy um, scent to me. It's hard to explain but I think those apple slices is is what kind of tops that off now this one is also a favorite of mine it's called bonfire bash again last year's packaging and I have gotten more just because I wanted to try it for the first season last year to see if I really you know liked it and I fell in love the key notes in here are toast and marshmallow crackling campfires and cozy flannels it's also has like a musky sandalwood scent to it as well but oh it is so nice all these guys will definitely get you in the fall mood like i said it might be pushing 92 degrees today in florida but not for this gal right here uh -uh. i lowered the air and it's getting chilly and it's feeling like fall so moving forward um two pairs of shoes that one recently I um, showed you in my Walmart haul were these pair of booties. I haven't worn them yet, but I am so looking forward to wearing them. They're very light brown faux suede and they have a zipper on the inside of the booties. They are extremely comfortable and I believe these ran 14, just under $15. I believe they were $14.98, but they have this in black and then a darker brown which I've also seen um, so I'm really excited to wear these and pair it up with my flannel that I had gotten also at Walmart and you'll see this in my Walmart haul from time and true and I believe it was 1544 but guys look at the colors in that shirt ah oh, with those booties let me tell you yes please I am so ready for a hayride or a pumpkin patch. I'm just, let's do this. Um, my second article, I just bought this actually um, through Target Online. I didn't see it in the stores, but check out this sweater. It's kind of a crop sweater, um, 
but it comes with this belt and I saw a model wearing, I haven't even wore it, I still have the, I still have the tag on it. It's from Prologue, it's $34.99 and I saw someone wearing it. Look at the bell sleeves on that, super cute. And if you can look up close, there's really all different types of colors in there. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. Um, so I saw a model wearing this with a cami underneath and a pair of fall booties and it just looked so cute with a pair of ripped jeans. So I just got this and I'm really excited to try it out. I haven't even put it on yet. It's literally been in my closet. Um, the other pair of shoes I got at Target are from Universal Thread. I don't recall because I got this a little while ago how um, much these were, but if I can find it, I will put the description in the description box for you. But I just thought these were super cute with like a sweater or a flannel shirt or just about anything really with a pair of, oh my gosh, even a denim like skirt or a corduroy skirt is what I'm trying to say with some tights. Wouldn't these be super cute? Again, I love that faux suede feeling and I do like kind of the light browns in this. I feel like you can kind of pair it with both colors. I don't know. It's kind of universal to me, but anyway, and the last item are a pair of pants that I had just gotten at Walmart. And again, these are in my Walmart haul video that you should go check out if you haven't seen it yet. And it's from No Boundaries. And these are the high rise skinnies. And I drawn to it because I saw all the buttons which I thought was super cute and they had these rips in it and at the bottom they're ripped so slightly but it's so cute and they fall at a perfect length and it just looks adorable pairing them up with those booties and these were just under $18 it was like $17.86 something like that but you guys, these are the most comfy, cozy pants. I was super impressed. They fit so well. I have that curve in my back. So I always had that back here. Have you guys ever had that problem? That extra like whatever that is back there, not these. And I've spent a lot of money on pants before. Not these, under $18. You guys, they have them in the dark pair, which is this. They have them in um, one lighter than this and then the light color. Go, go to Target, go to Target. I'm sorry, go to Walmart, no boundaries. You're gonna love these pants. They just, I just absolutely love them. So yeah, that's basically just the beginning of some fall essentials stuff that I like to use that are just, do they just get me in the mood for fall? I, I, I love everything about this season and I'm even more super excited because I'd love for you, for you guys to stick around. I have some, really cool videos coming up. I'm not going to get into pretty much anything, but it's going to be Halloween inspired tours throughout my house because we are busting out all the decorations and it's just going to be so great. So please, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stick around and hang out. Um, my name is Angel and hit that like button hit that notification button so you can get alerted on all the videos that are coming your way. And until then, kisses, and I will see you soon. Bye.